how's it going, Electron Man? Well, we're going to uh, upgrade to Windows 11 on my ASRock X570 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard. Um, I wanted to upgrade to Windows 11, and uh, it kept saying that I uh, was not capable of doing it with my current hardware settings. Well, I kind of found out it has nothing to do with the motherboard. It has to do with the BIOS default, default BIOS settings, uh, which I set up a long time ago and never, you know, thought anything about it. But anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and go through the steps that you were required to upgrade the BIOS and the X570 uh, gaming, Phantom Gaming uh, motherboard so that you can upgrade to Windows 11. It's really not that bad. It's kind of scary, but I'm going to take you along step by step. And uh, basically, uh, you won't lose anything. It's just a straight out upgrade. But there are a few steps you need to follow, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a screen grab and show you that I the text that I'm going to go ahead and create so that you uh, can follow along with the comments below the video as well as the video I'm obviously creating now. So let me go ahead and get the, uh, the screen grab going, and I'll kind of go you through the text, and then I'll show you a video of my BIOS as I'm doing it. And uh, voila, within probably five or ten minutes, you'll be upgraded to Windows 11. So this is quick as I can through the text. I don't want to bore you. But uh, anyway, first thing you probably want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, pull up Command Prompt, which uh, you can just type in Command down here at the search. CMD will pull it up, Command Prompt. And then from there, I suggest you just type. You don't have to uh, do anything else. It's just type in this right here, MSM info. I'll clean this a little bit up before I post it in the video, but uh, just paste that right there and hit enter. And then you're going to look through here and you're going to see your BIOS mode, which it's probably says legacy, then you need to convert um, because you had already upgraded to Windows 11. So I'm just rattling on here. So now you want to go to part one. You need to validate your drive, which you need to open a command prompt as admin. Very important. On that, you can type command and uh, just right click it and you want to run as administrator. Yes. And once you're running an administrator, you will see it says administrator command pop. So we know we're in that. Then you just want to type these two commands in here. You want to, I say just copy and paste it in there. You can do a control C and a control D and paste it in, or you can just type these two in. After you do the MB2 BGT convert, allow full OS, it should say disk layout validation completed successfully converting the version. And it only takes a few minutes or a few seconds, probably 30 seconds to do that. So once you get there, you know you're good to move forward. So next thing we want to do is go to part two. And this is where it gets a little tricky because you got to mess with your BIOS. And uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, shut down and restart your PC. And uh, when it's restarting, right when you see a splash screen, start hitting delete, because you need to get into your BIOS, which I don't mind it was delete or it's F2, but if you're using the same other motherboard as me, it should be delete. So you hit the delete key and just keep hitting it and it'll pop up the BIOS. Once you're in the BIOS, the first thing you want to do is there's tabs at the top, which I have a video that I'm going to show you at the end of this of me, uh, navigating through that that bios but you want to go to the tab that says that says boot and in it you look for the set csm which is right towards the top there you'll see in the video and you want to disable that mine was enabled you need to disable that that is part of the problem to why i won't upgrade to windows 11. CSM, you're going to say yes it's going to ask you and give you a warning or something but say yes go ahead and uh and then you're going to have to exit BIOS and save changes. So once you've done that one change, you're going to say yes, and then you're going to exit BIOS, reboot again, and you're going to do the same thing. You need to get back in BIOS again. The reason you have to do this is you cannot change this without a reboot. You have to change the BIOS compatibility support mode and reboot the BIOS before it'll let you move forward, at least on this motherboard. So you hit delete again to access the BIOS. Next thing you want to do is go to the security cat tab. Again, the video I'm going to show you, secure boot. And uh, it's up there towards the top. You just hit enable secure boot. And then uh, the OS type, I just set mine to normal. Uh, normal, it says normal UEFI mode. And I didn't change that in my Windows 11 upgraded just fine and it's working fine. So just make sure that, that uh, the OS type is set to normal. And then the last thing you want to do is you need to go under the, go back out of the uh, 
the boot screen and you need to go to the advanced screen. And once you're in advanced screen, at the top you'll see CPU. I think it's the first one of the list of uh, different things. You click the CPU and towards the bottom of that CPU, you will see AMD FTPM is set. Mine was default to AMD FTPM, so I'm assuming yours probably will be too if you're in the same situation as me. Once you make sure that's set, then again, you're going to exit out of BIOS, you know, hit uh, save and exit BIOS, and you're done with the BIOS. You're, that's it. That's all you got to do. And then once there, you get to boot three, the boot, you're pretty much done. So you just, uh, it'll boot normal into Windows 10. You can go ahead and do the MS info again, and it should so show uh, UEIFI mode, uh, which will go ahead and do that. Let's type it in here. And run it. And it should have right here BIOS mode UEFI. So instead of legacy. So you're ready to go. And uh, secure boot state is on. So you know you're good. But anyway, um, I don't know why I backed up to that. But but then you just need to go to uh, the Windows 11 installation, download the Windows 11 installation assistant. And uh, it's on the Microsoft side, or you can just search it in Google and install that little app. And then now when you check, for Windows 11 compatibility, it will come up and give you all green check marks that you're ready to upgrade. And from there, I just went into the Windows upgrade in Windows and said uh, check for updates. And uh, it went ahead and installed Windows 11, started the process. And within, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, I was up and running Windows 11. That easy, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I got a little video of the BIOS right behind this, and then uh, and then we'll just hey guys, just a down. short up video on how to do an upgrade on a Hasrock 570 motherboard for Windows 11. First thing you want to do is you see these menus at the top here. You want to go over to boot. Sorry, this is on the phone because obviously I can't screen capture it on the computer that I'm doing upgrade on this here. You want to go to CMS Compatibility Support Module right there. And you want to disable it if it's enabled. You must disable that. After you disable that, you're going to have to hit yes and then reboot and then come back in the BIOS. I've already done it, so I'm just re rehashing what I've already done. Once you've done the disable, then you're able to go in the security tag here, tab at the top. And then you want to go into secure boot. And you want to enable secure boot and then you want to I just use the standard and it works fine uh, but you want to enable UEFI aware OS secure boot and you enable that and once you're done with that then you need to go into advanced and you need to go into I believe it was uh, AMD FTP switch here and make sure that you have AMD FTPM switch on and then save those settings in your BIOS and reboot and boom you're back into Windows 10 but you've got the secure boot capability and uh, from there you can just go out to Windows update and update to, the, uh, to Windows 11 it's that easy guys hopefully this helps some guys out there Sorry, I would have liked to have had a better way to do it, but this is the only way I could capture it and uh, show you because obviously I can't capture the screen that I'm currently on. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the uh, comments. Have a great day. This is Electron Man 73s.